Hi, welcome to Make Up My Jerry List. So today I have an Ulta haul. So let's get started. I picked up uh, the Revolution Makeup Palette, Blush Palette, and I got the Sugar and Spice. They also have the, um, I forgot what it's called, but it's more of the brown tones. Let's get this one opened. And it's uh, acrylic case. This one here. This is the colors for you. Pretty colors, pretty pink colors. Let me show you guys. And these are the colors, the top row. Sorry, coloring. Try to get the colors for you here. And I'll show you the bottom colors. And these are the bottom colors here. My lighting is horrible. And they also have. Um, Brow palettes, they have bronzing pal uh, bronzing palettes, they also have brow, um, I just said that, the, they also have, uh, what else do they have? Oh, they have some shadow palettes, they have some cool uh, palettes that have names, cute names and stuff, and this one was only $10, so, so you use the coupon, it comes out like $7, $8, so it was a cute, you know, really good deal. I also got this lipstick here. This is how it looks. This is the case. That's that one. And I'm I'm wearing this color right now. So that's this one. And this is what the lipstick looks like. That's that. Um, it's very hydrating, moisture, and it and it actually has like a grape scent to it. It's actually kind of cool. So that was that, and then I also got these two mascaras. I got the Lash Sensational Mascara, which is my favorite. Um, this mascara, you kind of have to get used to the wand though, because it does have a curvy wand, so you have to know how to apply it for it to give you that really lifting effect and the uh, separation and uh, volume. So um, I actually have a video that you can see how to apply it and to give your lashes that full fan effect. So um, I'm going to link that video below so you can actually see the trick on how to apply this mascara. It's one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. I also bought this one, the Lash uh, Discovery Mascara. Because I've been looking for a mascara that has a, a small wand. Because I always used to get the Clinique one to apply for the lower lashes. Because I always have a hard time getting into this um, little ones right here. Because I always tend to get the mascara in right here. So we'll see how this one is. Actually, let's open it. I'm going to open it and see. I'm not going to put it on, of course. But... <clears throat> And it's actually a very black, it says. Oh, look. For those of you that have not seen it, it's actually small. Let's see. Huh. I already have mascara. Oh, <laughs> I already got it on me. But it came off right away. For the little, little lashes. It actually goes on. Huh. Not bad. Hey. It actually does do the trick. I like it. And I'm making a mess. So, hmm, not bad. Just have to try it on when I don't have mascara on, but... So far, I was able to get the tiny lashes in there, and it worked. So I'm going to have to try it on when I have no mascara and see if it actually gets all of them. So there you 
go. That's that. And I got the uh, Physicians Formula Youthful Wear Powder. And I had to try it on before I showed it to you guys because I wanted to see it. And I actually have it on. Sorry for the video. My camera doesn't do that great of a video. But um, I look kind of yellow here. But I actually like it. I have very dry skin. I like the one that I showed you guys on the previous video. Uh, it's my favorite one, but it doesn't give me enough coverage. But it's actually a great powder to use um, for setting. This one's supposed to give you uh, a finish. It's supposed to be you um, bleh, visibly blends it. It blends into the skin. It gives you uh, even skin tone. It's supposed to help extend your wear of your foundation and it acts as a protecting shield for pollution and free of radicals hmm. so we'll see what it but so far I actually like it you know and the color I got is beige they only had like three colors it was a translucent I think there was a natural and then beige uh, so tell me, you guys let me know if you guys tried it because I, so far I'm liking it. We'll see. It says it proven to visibly give you results. You're supposed to look 10 years younger. Hmm. I don't know about that. <laughs> but I, I like the way it feels. I do. And the other thing I got was the Real Technique sponge. I have the Beauty Blender sponge and I love it. But this one, everybody says they love it for the price. You know what? Doesn't hurt to try it, right? It's soft. I love that it has the uh, flat surface so you can use it for the nose and, you know, the eye area. And it has the pointy sides for, you know, the little areas like around your nose. So for the price, can't beat it. You know, Beauty Blender does cost a lot more, so we're going to see if this, you know, works as well. I mean, everybody says it does, so I'm going to try it. I know I'm I know I'm way behind, but it's first time, right? First time trying it out, so I'm going to give it a try. And the other product that I got was the uh, Burt Bees Sensitive Wipes are my favorite because I have, like I said, I have dry, sensitive skin. These won't dry my skin and they don't burn. They're with 100% cotton extra, extract, excuse me, extract. Um, they're very moisturizing. They remove dirt, oil, and makeup without having to rinse my face. I still do, but sometimes, you know, when you don't have time or you're on a trip and you don't, you know, want to do all that. These are lifesavers. I love them because I tend to burn around right here and right here when I use soap. So these actually work really good. So that was all my stuff that I got at Ulta. So if you have tried any of these products, let me know what you think or any other things that you think are great for sensitive skin or for dry skin or if you've tried any of the Revolution products, um, let me know so I can go try them out or what you think of the blushes. I haven't tried them on yet, but so far I love the lipstick. So if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe and I will see you soon. Thank you.